guys welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial i'll be using my size 4 millimeter hook my scissors my measuring tape and i'm using this um with three yarn it's a turkish brand nako and it's 100 percent acrylic yes 100 percent acrylic micro fiber so i've had this full for a long time and i just decided to make this top with it because I was just tired of seeing it lying around so to get started you're going to make a chain that is um you're going to measure your waist and divide it into two so you're going to like be working with two panels the front and the back panel and you're going to make a chain that is wide enough to go around your front panel so i already did one panel and i'm just going to be working with the back panel so i did a total of 100 um chain for the front panel so i'm going to be doing the same for the back and um my waist is about 36 inches but i actually made it 40 inches because i wanted the top to be a bit loose so i'm going to leave um, a pattern of how many chains you can use for a size small and a size medium so i'm just going to be making a chain of 100 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm done with my chain of 100. Now, for the first true, I'm just going to chain three. So, I'm going to um, use my fingers to block off this last chain and chain three. One, two, three. And this serves as our first level crochet. So, now I'm going to put my hook into the fourth. Um, chain from the hook so i'm going to um, pull my hook into this chain where i marked off and i'm going to put one double crochet in there now i'm just going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches so we're just putting one double crochet in each stitch I really hope you guys can see this because the lighting is kind of bad. So basically, I'm just putting one double crochet in each stitch. so i'm done with the first row for the second row i'm just going to basically do the same thing i did for the first row i'm going to chain three one two three and this serves as our first double crochet i'm going to skip the first chain and put one double crochet in the next chain and i'm going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the chains so we're just going in with one double crochet. And we're going to do this until you get to the length um you want your top to be. So basically you're just going to do this for a few rows and then I'll show you guys how to do the under armpit and the neckline. So I'm just going to go in with one double crochet in each stitch and like I said I'm going to do this for a few more rows and I'll let you guys know how many rows I did this for. So don't forget whenever you get to the end of the row, whenever I get to the end of the row you're going to chain three you're going to chain three skip the first chain and continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches 
and if there's anything you guys don't understand you can just leave it down in the comment section and i'll let you guys i'll explain better to you guys because um i don't know how effective this tutorial is because i'm not using a tripod i'm basically using my laptop because a lot of you have been complaining about how i'm doing my tutorial with my face showing and they keep on um saying you don't really understand what i'm doing so since i don't have a tripod the best um thing i can do is use my laptop since it's portable and well it's a bit flexible so i just hope the video quality is a bit good because this is the first time i'm using my laptop to do a tutorial so hopefully the video quality is good and you guys can understand what i'm doing but in case you guys don't understand or you have a question you can just leave it in the comment section and i'll explain better to you so like i said i'm going to do this for a few more rolls and then i'll show you guys how to do the underarm and the neckline so I did a total of 20 rolls of double crochet now I'm going to be doing the underarm and the neckline so for the neckline you're just going to fold your work into half and put your stitch marker as you can see I already put my stitch marker to mark the middle or you could count um, since the total amount of stitches is 100 you can count 50 and then 50 and put your stitch marker because we are going to be working with the v-neck so I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, underarm now so for the underarm I'm going to be decreasing so I'm just going to chain three one two three and I'm going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to decrease in the next two stitches so I'm going to put one double crochet yarn over I have three left yarn over I have two left yarn over and put my hook into the next stitch yarn over I have four left yarn over I have three left yarn over I have two and yarn over through yarn over and pull through the two so that's how to decrease with a um, double crochet now I'm just going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches I've come to the um, last two stitches of where my stitch marker is so I'm going to be doing a decrease in these last two stitches now I'm going to chain three and I'm just going to turn this I'm going to do a decrease now so I'm going to skip this first stitch and do a decrease in the next two stitches so I have two left I have four I have three I have two I'm just going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches so I get to this end and I'm going to do a decrease now i've gotten to the end of this row so this is our neckline and this way we did our decrease so i'm just going to be doing another decrease so i'm going to yarn over put my hook into the next chain yarn over half to left and 
decrease in the last chain as you can see the um, angle is ready for me and so for the next um, row I'm going to chain three and I'm just going to turn the work now I'm going to decrease I'm going to skip this first chain and decrease in the next two chains I'm just going to put one um, double crochet in the rest of the stitches so so I've come to the end of this row and I'm just going to be doing my decrease now for the next row I'm going to chain three one two three and do a decrease so I'm going to skip this first um chain and do my decrease in the next two chains and like I said I'm going to do one double crochet in the rest of the stitches and I'm going to decrease so I'm just going to be decreasing like on these two ends and I'm going to show you guys how many rows of decrease I did before um we do the um what are they called the arms or rather the yeah the hands of the top hey guys so i did um 12 rows of decrease on both sides making it a total of um 34 rows so we did 22 rows of normal double crochet with no increase or decrease and then for the neckline and the underarm we did um 12 rows of decrease so now for the um hand or the shoulder panel we are not going to be doing any increase or decrease we'll just be going in with um normal double crochet so i'm just going to chain three one two three and i'm just going to turn this and i'm going to skip this first stitch and put one double crochet in the next um stitches next few stitches so i'm just going in with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches i'm going to chain three one two three i'm going to turn this and do um one double i'm going to skip the first stitch and put one double crochet in the rest of the stitches so i'm going to do a total of let me see one two three four five six i'm going to do a total of six um rows of normal double crochet with no increase or decrease So I'm done with this um, part of the top. Now I'm just going to do the second part. So I already did a slip knot, and I'm just going to be joining the slip knot to this end. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to do my decrease. I'm going to skip this first um, stitch and do my decrease in the next two stitches. So I'm just repeating the same thing I did for this part. I'm going to be decreasing, and when I get to where my stitch marker is, I'm going to decrease. So I'm just going to do this off camera since I already did this part and I'm doing exactly the same thing. And I'll show you guys how to join the, um, the two panels together. 
so i joined the front panel and the back panel with a single crochet and basically this is what the top looks like you can use um a slip stitch to join the two um, panels depending on which one you prefer now i'm going to show you guys how to do the neck border and the arm border or rather the edges so now for the edging of the um, neckline i'm just going to I already did the slip knots. I'm just going to attach the slip knots to the middle of the V neck. Now I'm just going to go around with one single crochet. So I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch. I just hope this lighting is not that bad. So I'm going in with one single crochet in each stitch. so now i've gone round with one single crochet in each stitch now i'm going to be chaining four so for the next one i'm going to chain four one two three four and i'm going to slip stitch into the same chain I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain chain four one two three four and slip stitch into the same chain I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain chain four one two three four and slip stitch into the next into the same chain so that's what we'll be doing for the rest of the stitches you're just going to slip stitch into the next chain chain four one two three four and slip stitch into the same chain slip stitch into the next chain chain four one two three and slip stitch into the same chain slip stitch into the next chain chain four one two three four and slip stitch into the same chain so this is what the edges look like so I'm going to do this round and I'm going to show you guys the end result I'm done with the neckline and for the arms I just did the same thing I did for the neckline so I went with the chain four, um, chain four stitch and a slip stitch so basically that's all for this um, top and if you have any question or you don't understand anything just ask me and I'll reply you in the comment section